everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, well, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank y'all in advance. But on this episode, we are tasting and reviewing a seasonal beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing. Now, a few things first. Number one. This beer is relatively new. It was released in uh, mid to the end of June, so it's only about seven, eight weeks old, give or take. Number two, this beer is, once again, it is part of their Little Things series of beers, and that series includes their Hazy Little Thing, their Juicy Little Thing, their Tropical Little Thing, among other little things, and I will leave links to all those little things down below so you can check out all my reviews of all those little things at your earliest convenience. Sounds good to be. And lastly, number three, this beer is only available in their summertime 12 can variety pack. So, what is the little thing? Let me grab the can. This is their crisp little thing. The Crisp Little Thing. And what is this? Well, the Crisp Little Thing, this beer is an American lager. This beer clocks in at 4.7% ABV, and it's got a relatively low IBU of only 18, and it is made with mosaic hops. So without further ado and all that information, let's crack the top on this puppy. Here we go. One, two. Boom, boom. Eh, no smoke on that. Let me grab a glass. Let's get a nice little pour here. It's summertime, so maybe we'll do a little bigger pour. That's big enough. That's big enough, at least for the review. Okay, let's look at that. Whoa, you can see through that one. Holy moly. Yep, that is a light body beer. That is a super, super, super light lemony straw. You can see right through that glass. But... What do we got? We got about a finger and a half of some suds on top. Finger and a half of carbonation. But uh, let's give this one a swirl and let's give it a nose. Here we go. Nose number one. Ah, well, we're getting, it's a little basic here. Sometimes basic and simple is good. But what do we got? We got some grassy notes. Some slight, 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 I mean, very slight lemon zest. And it's rounded out by some biscuity notes, but one more here. And there is, on the back end, there is a really, really, really faint hint of mustiness coming through. Little unexpected, and it seems a little out of place, but uh, here we go. The moment of truth. Let's give this one a sippy sip. I've swirled it enough. Prost to the crisp little thing. Prost to summer. We're still in summer. A few more weeks left, maybe a month left, but we're still rolling. Here we go. Crisp little thing. Prost. Did I get a mustache here? I think I had a mustache from the foam. Well, first and foremost, very light body beer. <laughs> very refreshing on a hot summer day. So, Hits, the, hits it right in the mark for the seasonal. Uh, but what do we got flavor-wise? Now, I'm going to foreshadow it with this. Flavors are a little thin, and it's kind of mimicking the nose. But what are we getting? First and foremost, we are getting those grassy tones. Then, those biscuity, doughy tones are kind of rounding everything out. Now, here's the thing. We are getting little to next to none of that lemon zest. I mean... I'm not even going to say we're getting any. We're getting no lemon zest. But there is that presence of that slight underlying mustiness, which, like I said, I don't know where it came from. I don't know why it's there, but it just seems out of place. It is a crisp beer, and it's refreshing, but that, that, that mustiness is kind of just sticking out like a sore thumb, and it's like, hey, I'm still here. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here. But what would I give this on the pint, pint of beer? Refreshing beer, crisp not as clean as I like uh, would want it, but I'm going to give this one more sip. I'm going to give this beer, you know, I got to admit, I'm just going to give this beer a 6.5. I feel comfortable giving this beer a 6.5. Um, not a bad beer. Does its job. Could use just a tad bit of tweaking and literally just a little bit of tweaking to get rid of that mustiness. If that was gone, I would probably, if that mustiness wasn't there, I would have definitely scored this a little higher. Um, but because of that, 
it just, it just, like I said, it just really seems out of place. But uh, I'm going to stick to my number on that. And with that, I'm taking one more quick sip. And I want to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubzappapintin.com or the blog, which is www.pubzappapintin.blogspot.com. And with that, we're still kicking on the summer party train, so we're rolling along. So I'm raising this pint, baby. We'll see you on the next episode. Cheers, prost, and enjoy!